Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about celiac disease. We are going to see what is celiac disease is, what are the symptoms of it, causes, complications, tests, treatment and precautions. So let's get started. What is celiac disease? Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder that is triggered when you eat gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley and rye. It's also known as celiac sprue or gluten sensitive enteropathy. Now let us see what are the symptoms of it. If you have celiac disease and accidentally eat something with gluten in it, you may have symptoms including abdominal pain, anemia, bloating or a feeling of fullness, bone or joint pain, constipation, diarrhea, gas, heartburn, itchy blistery rash. Doctors call this dermatitis herpetiformis, headaches or fatigue, mouth ulcers, nervous system injury including numb or tingling hands or feet, weight loss. Now let us see the causes of this for this condition. When the body's immune system overreacts to gluten in the food, the reaction damages the tiny hair-like projections called as villi that line the small intestine. Villi absorb vitamins minerals and other nutrients from the food you eat. If your villi are damaged, you can't get enough nutrients, no matter how much you eat. You are more likely to have celiac disease if you have a relative who has it. Have a chromosomal disorder such as Turner syndrome, Williams syndrome or Down syndrome. Have another autoimmune disease such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, microscopic colitis or Addison's disease. Now let us discuss about the complications of this condition. If untreated, celiac disease can cause malnutrition. This occurs if your small intestine can't absorb enough nutrients. Malabsorption can lead to anemia and weight loss. In children, mal malnutrition can cause slow growth and short stature. Next complication is the lactose intolerance. Damage to your small intestine might cause you abdominal pain and diarrhea after eating or drinking dairy products that contain lactose. Once your intestine has healed, you might be able to tolerate dairy products again. Next complication is bone weakening. Malabsorption of calcium and vitamin D can lead to a softening of the bone called as osteomalacia or rickets in children and a loss of bone density called as osteopenia or osteoporosis in adults. Next complication is the cancer. People with celiac disease who don't maintain a gluten-free diet have a greater risk of developing a several forms of cancer including intestinal lymphoma and small bowel cancer. Next complication is the nervous system problems. Some people with celiac disease can develop problems such as seizure or a disease of the nerves to the hands and feet called as peripheral neuropathy. Now let us discuss about the test. Blood test. This test checks for certain antibodies in your blood. Almost everyone with celiac disease has antibodies in their blood at higher than normal levels. You should include gluten in your diet when the blood test is done because avoiding it could lead to an inaccurate result. The most common tests include tissue transglutaminase IgA antibody level that is TTG test, total serum IgA Deamidated gliadin peptide that is DGP IgA and IgG and IgA endomesial antibody. Next test is the genetic test that is genetic testing for human leukocyte antigens. HLA DQ2 and HLA DQ8 can be done to rule out celiac disease. Next test is endoscopy test. This test uses a long tube with a tiny camera that's put into your mouth and passed down through your throat. The camera enables your doctor to weave your small intestine and take a small tissue sample called as biopsy to analyze for damage to the villi. Next test is the capsule endoscopy. This test uses a tiny wireless camera to take pictures of your entire small intestine. The camera sits inside a vitamin sized capsule which you swallow. As the capsule travels through your digestive tract, the camera takes thousands of pictures that are transmitted to a recorder. Now let us discuss about the treatment. Doctors treat celiac disease by helping people to follow a gluten-free diet. 
When you stop eating gluten, your small intestine will begin to heal and will soon be able to absorb nutrients again. Nutri nutritional supplements will be given to replace any serious deficiencies. Specific medications to treat dermatitis, herpetiformis such as Dapson will be given. Corticosteroids for severe inflammation that's not responding fast enough to the diet. Continuous follow-up care including regular testing to make sure the disease is controlled. Now let us discuss about the precautions. If you are diagnosed with celiac disease, you may be able to prevent it from causing further damage to your small intestine. This can be achieved by eating a healthy and strict gluten-free diet. Avoid all foods that contain wheat, barley or rye. Read all food labels and ingredients carefully to spot the gluten. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.